So today we have a little mini project. This is a header pipe that goes to this beautiful big Electroglide. And what happened was, so you can see there's no exhaust pipe on the rear uh, cylinder. That's what this guy is. And unfortunately it's a uh, Rheinspeed, right? Or Reinhardt piece. And there is no replacement for it um, that I can find. So we're gonna fix this. Now, what causes a blowout like this? Maybe a backfire, maybe something else, I really don't know. Um, I have seen things like this on motorcycle exhaust before. They usually have to do with um, poor material quality. I don't wanna talk shit about this company because I don't know anything about Harleys and it's not really my place, but that has been my experience in the past on sports bikes. Um, but what we're gonna do today is we're gonna bend this back in a place a little bit and then we're going to cut out and form a patch over this so that we can replace uh, this back on the bike and the bike can run. Um, this thing has a chrome cover that goes on it so nobody will ever see the repair work. It's very uh, easy to hide, but we're gonna do our best to do a good job and make sure it fits well. So I am going to try to test fit this on the bike real quick just to see where it needs to fall. Then we'll do a little bit of tweaking and get it sealed up. So we've cleaned up. You can see there's a series of uh, stress fractures here. First thing we're gonna do is now that we've cleaned them up with the grinder, we're going to weld them shut right here. Um, and then also on the back side. And so I've got our AHP Alpha TIG kind of set up on the floor here. We'll figure out the best uh, settings for it and uh, get this welded up. And I'm just, this is all mild steel as far as I can tell. So we're just using mild steel filler rod. So here we go. We've welded up the cracks. You can see right there. Next thing we gotta do is we gotta create a piece of patch material to kind of form over this pipe. Um, and for that, I'm gonna use a piece of old exhaust tubing that I have and we'll just try to get it to fit. Little update, um, <clears throat> we welded along all of this and then I basically made incisions here and then hammered it smooth because I didn't have this, this radius curve and this wall thickness material is significantly thicker than what this factory pipe is made out of. So I wanted to reinforce it along both sides. It's fully welded on three sides. Then we made this incisions to be able to reform it. And now all I'm really gonna do is just go through and carefully TIG weld all of this up. And then it should be sealed and significantly stronger than ever. And now you might be thinking like, man, that looks ugly as shit even after you TIG weld it and grind it. Well, it really doesn't matter because this pipe actually has this like shiny chrome thing that goes over it which means nobody will ever be able to see this repair unless they disassemble the exhaust. And hopefully we got this set up enough that it didn't really warp at all during uh, welding. So I'm gonna finish welding this up. Shouldn't take too, too long. And then uh, let it cool and see if we can put it back on the bike. There's our finished product. I've water tested it. Um, so there's no leaks. Is it ugly? Yeah, but I've got a TIG project coming up where I need to make pretty welds and TIG welding is a skill and it's a skill you gotta practice. So, you know, I uh, don't really care too much about this one because it's gonna be covered up by that chrome piece. But, um, you know, whatever. It came out okay, especially for dissimilar metals because I'm pretty sure this is some sort of stainless and the other exhaust was maybe a different kind of stainless or one of them is mild because they definitely didn't melt the same. Um, but now that this is nice and cool, we should be able to install it back on the bike. So here's our exhaust installed. You can see it runs really close to the starter, which I am not a fan of, but we got the O2 plugged in right here. That's this guy. Um, got that tightened down, come around the back. There's our two exhaust pipes. Um, I think this guy is a little bit off we may need to adjust that just slightly to get them to square up but with the jump pack i still don't have the real battery yet but listen to this oh listen to this
that's it for today guys all i got left is to throw a big battery in this big bitch and we will be ready to hit the road in this electric glide if you like the video hit the like button if you like the channel please subscribe leave me a comment let me know what you think i know my tig welding is crappy and needs to be improved um and we're gonna we're gonna work on that peace